Red Pill Disclaimer Welcome to Godzell's channel. By watching this video, you are choosing to take the red pill and see how deep the rabbit hole goes. All opinions expressed are Godzell's alone, and any copyrighted content belongs to its respective owners. Viewer discretion is advised. Can you see it now? Can you see the matrix for what it truly is? Joe, welcome back to another great episode. This is going to be another one of those good one. I already know. Let's get right into it. Now, nah, Unk done clean his shit up. He, he hooking it up, man. He will keep hooking it up. Biden was the right person. Mm. Obama was the right person. Mm. No, they're not the right person because they're in the same seat. That's I right. said this before same seat as Nixon, mm. same seat as jfk same seat as lennon b johnson same seat they're in the same satanic seat and even if they have good intentions if trump has good intentions if kamala have good intentions if robert f kennedy jr who's also on the ballot if he has good intentions that's wonderful but they're in that house of satan mm. yep. you think you're going to change the system mm. i don't think trump could change it if he wanted to mm. i don't think biden could change it i don't think kamala could change it right. but again they can make people hope and believe that something will come out of Satan's house. All right, well, hey, go keep doing your thing. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be out here building with our people yeah. and creating more solutions. So again, I know that was kind of a long answer no, for me no, to basically no, say, no. I, I'm not, I'm just not interested, brother. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm more so disgusted because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over expecting and over again, and expecting result. a different result. That's I'm great. not interested in it anymore. Mm -hmm. It is embarrassing. It is irritating for me to hear the same thing every four years. Mm -hmm. The number four represents foundation. Mm -hmm. We don't focus on our four, but we continue to focus on theirs. Mm. Build your own mm -hmm. because power only respects power. They mm -hmm. don't respect the vote. They don't yeah. respect a cry. They don't respect yeah. us begging. They respect power. Mm. If you don't have no money behind an agenda, stop talking. Mm. If you don't have power to exercise and organize your own people, stop talking. Yeah. If you only want to say vote, 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 you are an embarrassment. It doesn't matter how many PhDs, how many master's degrees you have, you are going to be laughed at by those who are in control. Mm. They laugh at every single person who just yells vote, vote, vote. And mm. if you don't vote for this person, that's a vote for them it's a game yeah you don't look at the electoral colleges you don't look at the finishing schools yeah where they groom presidential candidates you don't look at who funds them that's right you don't look at the fact that they're selected before they're elected yeah. you don't know the process of this mm. because you're still saying the word vote mm. biden was the right person mm. obama was that's the right person mm. it don't matter it don't no. matter who is in that seat they can't do nothing for us at all you don't actually have no enemies, bro. Your biggest enemy is yourself. Did you know that every single person that you don't like is just showing you a reflection of what's unhealed about yourself? So now it's like, you think this person is a problem, but in reality, it's how you reacted to what this person did. Because you can't change what this person did. All you can do is heal within yourself. So now if anybody else do the same shit, they want to thank you. But if you just keep cutting people off, if you keep making yourself the victim and everybody else the problem, you're going to continue to deal with that lesson until you realize I needed to heal. You don't actually have have you guys seen this yet if you're not familiar with this thing this is the eye and it's located in las vegas this was a 23 billion dollar project and it's a project that has something to say y'all check this out it starts out by saying everything you know is a lie right as we know and then it goes on a it goes on a tangent saying all these different types of weird things look at that and it says some things that you can really pick up on it, right? Jobs are a lie, cars are a lie, futures, like everything is a lie because we know the past, present, and future exists now. But what I found interesting was it was like the sun coming up and basically telling us everything that we know is a lie. And it's emanating black. Fish. It says everyone is a racist. Did you see that? <laughs> wow. FOMO vacuum so literally is literally telling us everything that we've known in this world is literally a lie and it's what the eye the all seeing eye look at this so literally our lives have been nothing but a lie that's why like the movie The Matrix exists this is all has been a game a simulation of some sort because again, why would they put this type of message out there? 
you are a victim of your own environment literally look at that yes so what that mean literally that will go right back to everything being a lie spasm involved gender neutral deep literally anger wow everything you've known is literally has been a lie the words But what do you guys think about this? What kind of message do you think did? I think, yeah, baby. And then it says baby for that. Boom. That is, is that the solar flash? Have you guys seen this yet? <laughs> is it, if you're... This is interesting, though. Like, how are you doing this right now? That's crazy, man. That's how you know. They know they time's up. Movies that you need to tap into to better understand the spiritual war that we are in as chosen ones. Now this first movie is called Dark City and it drops gems on the manipulation tactics that these shadow elites will use to try to propagate your mind. This movie also draws parallels to the simulation theory in the sense that there are beings that create the reality that we see in front of us. Now this second movie is called Transcendence and this involves the integration of human consciousness with artificial technologies to create a false god. This movie perfectly illustrates the mentality that these rich individuals have who want to use artificial intelligence. These individuals are not connected to an original source, so they seek transhumanism to become these artificial gods. And you need to tune in to Interstellar as it gives great insight on dimensional paradoxes and reality. Movies that you need to tap what are the chances of this so this is the cover of time magazine and it says donald trump in trouble and it's him in a golf cart on a golf course in the bunker now this was made on september 11th and on september 15th donald trump was on a golf course and when he was at the fifth hole the secret service spotted a man with an ak-47 the man has been arrested and Trump is safe, but this is very interesting. What are the chances of this? So you look like he ain't gonna be to get a chance to be president. They're gonna try to kill him before he even become president. Dang. So I've recently been stuck on this rabbit hole and why every human feature resembles nature. From the leaves to the plants to the color of our skin, like this. How does a leaf look exactly like a muscle tissue? Or how about this? Why does the inside of a tree stump look exactly like our fingerprints? Or how is it that our hair resembles the top of trees? Or the structure on how our hands look exactly like the tree roots? Or how about how do our lungs look exactly like the top of a tree too? And I find this funny since, you know, we breathe oxygen and trees breathe carbon dioxide, yin and yang. And then as the more research that I did, it all started to make sense, especially after looking at this. The cracks in her skin look exactly like the cracks in the dirt or the cracks in the clay. And if man was made from clay like the Bible said, then I guess this will all just be signs to back the evidence. Y'all, let me know y'all thoughts on what y'all think about this video in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom. Stay Is there a I'm stop right here. Why are we leaving a baby in the car? I went to go find his dad. Why are we leaving an infant in the car? I went to go find his dad. This is stuff I put people in prison for. Why are we leaving an infant in the car? I was literally out. Stop. <laughs> Unlock the car. I'm trying. Wait, is that kid okay? Okay. You know how long she was here? Yeah, she pulled in at 8 a.m. this morning? No, I didn't leave him in there the whole time. Something came. What? I had him at 25 weeks. Here, but he wasn't in the car by himself. How long was he left in the car? What time is it? 2.56. Um, like maybe 20 minutes. What time did you walk in that casino? I don't remember. I didn't look. My phone was dead. So what was the reasoning for going into the casino and leaving him by himself? One, I had to pee. And two, I was trying to find his dad. Okay. They're saying you went in about 9.30 this morning and haven't. I'm getting back to ask the phone. What's that lab? Why would the camera show you one? This, this facility is so sophisticated, they read my face and know everything about me, even though I've never been here before. So they know everything. They have facial recognition, all kinds of fancy stuff. So they have time stamps. Is your dad in here? Right, I'm stop right here. Why are we leaving a baby in the car?
Who told them to make this robot? They can walk almost as fast as humans. It can run up to eight miles per hour. Why would you give this robot the ability to run? It can help you cook, pass you things, answer almost any question. They even taught it how to be the homie. If I go like this, it'll kind of understand what I'm trying to do and like, uh, you know, play the game. By having it in the home, you can get robots to actually understand what people want. These robots will be available to the public in 2025, which is literally three months away. So you might want to hide your girl because this robot will become the man of the house. This shit is crazy. They're literally selling robots with flamethrowers. What would somebody even need this shit for? Watch out. Go back. Ah! God damn it! Hey! Stop, 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 stop! Now, am I tripping or have we all seen how this plays out? So if you want to stay informed, join my private community. It's full of resources. Hey, bro, you ain't never had your best friend come to your house. He asked for a bowl of cereal. You pull him a bowl of cereal and a roach fall out the cereal. <laughs> yeah, no, no, hear me though. <laughs> then your homie's so trench. He already seen the roach. He don't even phase, but he's like, pull me another bowl. So I go, he go ahead and take the roach out. And then I pull him another bowl and another roach come out. Then he's just like, it's good. Just give me some different cereal. Then I get him a clothes box. And then he gets to eat the cereal. You never had that type of problem, bro. You ain't never dealt with that type of thing. Bro, you ain't never had your. That's crazy. That is nah, not. You know you not nasty, bro. I mean, you like, damn. But I get it though, like. You know, you know, and the church is real. Is it true you've written probably over a million songs? That's not true because I don't write. You don't, you, you don't write. I just go in there and what I was feeling that day is how it goes. But how do you remember the song when you perform? Your guys are so, so, so kind. They typed up my lyrics for me. I'm back there studying them right now. <laughs> Do you have a picture of you at rehearsal? This is you <laughs> reading your own lyrics. Cause I don't write shit cause I ain't got time. Is it true you've written probably over a million songs? That's not true because I don't write. Dr. Lalela Africa broke down the importance of hair. Getting your hair kills the electromagnetic information that your body receives. Your hair is an antenna and communicates directly to your brain. And when you decrease its ability to pick up magnetism, electricity, you decrease in the vitality of your system. Hair is used to digest food. It's in your stomach and small and large intestines. It's in your ear. When you hear a sound, it's a thing in your ear called a cochlea that has water in it. And the water shakes when you hear a sound. And the shaking of the water shakes the hair and turns the sound into a chemical. Then you have hair in your eyes, which we call rods and cones. And that's how you see color in black and white. And the, and the retina stimulates this rods and cones. And that's how you see by the hair. That's how you see. That's how you digest. That's how things work with hair. So you really don't want to do anything to your hair. When you lose losing hair and your hair is brittle and all that stuff, you're losing hair everywhere. It's a big problem there. So what I'm talking about is people are thinking that you think that when you see me, that you see me, but you don't see me. I, the impulse strikes your retina and turns seeing into a liquid. And the liquid flows through your blood to your brain. So seeing is a liquid. Hearing is a liquid. We're not looking at this liquid thing, which we call the mother principle amniotic fluid and all that kind of stuff. So we're not looking at, we're taught that you're just seeing me, but you, it's a liquid that's telling you that you're seeing me, that floats in your blood to your brain. You hear with water, you see with water. You were born in water. So it's, it's very important that you understand that spiritual concept that comes out of our African... Darkest psychological manipulation techniques narcissists use to force you to be attracted to them. The push and pull technique, also referred to as the hot and cold technique or the roller coaster effect. This is what casinos do. You win big, you feel good, you lose a lot, and miss the feeling of winning. So what they would do is create a consistent pattern of giving pleasure and attention to you, just long enough to where you expect the attention, then they stop giving you the attention and become cold. These pattern interruptions will make you vulnerable and insecure. After a little bit of time, they will start giving you the attention again. They are mixing pleasure with pain. Pain and anxiety are the two precursors to pleasure. So to win you over, they make you see that your life is worse off without them. And you can't feel that unless they let you go first. Here are some of the things that they may say to you. 
I would date you, but I'm just emotionally unavailable, or I would date you, but I'm not ready for a relationship right now. Darkest psychological manipulation techniques narcissists use to... So based on the sound you hear, you can actually tell if you're healthy or not. What? Okay, so listen to this sound. Laurel, 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 Laurel. Yanny, Yanny. Laurel. I hear Yanny. So if you're hearing the word Yanny, since Yanny is actually a higher frequency, it requires younger and healthier ears to be able to hear it. But for older people who don't have healthy ears, they're actually hearing Laurel. And no matter how hard they try, they will never hear Yanny. Because Laurel is actually a lower frequency, making it easier for people that have bad ears to be able to hear it. Okay, I wonder who else could hear Yanny then. I cannot. So based on the sound you hear, you can actually tell if you're healthy what you or not. Here? What? Okay, so listen to this sound. Laurel. 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 Lord. I can hear both. I got good ears now. Because I hear Yanny and I hear the uh, Lord. Lord. I hear both of them. Yanny. Yanny. Laurel. Laurel. Yanny. Yanny. Laurel. 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 I was just hearing the Yanny. It worked though. I was just hearing the Yanny though. Let me. Alright, let me do it one more time or not what okay so listen to this sound laurel 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 yanny yanny laurel. i hear yanny so if you're hearing the word yanny since yanny is actually a higher frequency it requires younger and healthier ears to be able to hear it but for older people who don't have healthy ears they're actually hearing laurel and no matter how hard they try they will never hear yanny because laurel is actually a lower frequency making it easier for bro i literally just heard both of them now i can't hear it no more I can't, I can't hear the Yanny, so I guess I ain't got good I cannot. So based on the sound you hear, you can actually tell if you're healthy or not. What? Okay, so listen to this. Well, I guess I just got bad ears. I don't know. Do not let y'all- Y'all let me know what y'all are hearing, though. Love for ignorant people be the cause of your downfall. You'll find yourself in a position to where you're trying to explain to somebody so hard on the dangers of things, they're not listening to you and you're trying to show them. To eventually you saw blinded from your own vision, then now you put yourself in harm's way. When you could have avoided it by letting go and not trying so hard. You have to keep boundaries and space with those people who don't want to listen to you. Because you didn't let your guard down with some of these people so bad to the point to where now they become like a cancer. They thoughts, they way of life is now carrying on to you. And some people you can't even be seen with them. Because if you're seen with them, now you get into it with other people. Very cancerous like. And I'm telling y'all this because I done lost people very close to me that have lost their life trying to save people. You can't save everybody at the cost of your own life. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this video in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay The police just found a thousand bottles of baby oil in P. Diddy's home. So the feds just released a list of everything they found in P. Diddy's home during the search. And the number one thing was a thousand bottles of baby oil. Now what they said is that P. Diddy staff would stock these hotel rooms where he would have these freak offs with this baby oil in between his Miami and his LA home. They found a thousand bottles combined. And they said that they would use these for freak offs, sometimes lasting days where males that they would bring in and pay to do things with women, P. Diddy would then record to have blackmail of these women. They also recovered hundreds and hundreds of rounds of ammunition and wow. three illegal AR-15s. Also, the most damning of all the evidence, they found photos and videos that P. Diddy took of these people doing these freak offs to have as blackmail. So he was responsible for all of these things that they are accusing him of. P. Diddy is officially done. He is going to be arrested and he is facing a ton of time in jail. The police just found a thousand wow. bottles of baby oil. In we all know how they be putting the truth inside of these movies, yo. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but let me show y'all something real quick. That was the last mission, Buzz. What? We've decided we're going to go ahead and stay right here. Right here? Negative. That is not a viable option, is there? Listen. See, Pete. we're building this. Razor shield. What is that, y'all? It'll keep all the critters out. And we'll just tuck right in here and make do with what we've got. Make do? No, wait, wait, but you don't understand. That was basically a subliminal of them saying that we cannot lead this joint, yo. Another thing, yo, Pete, the L word that's right there, these ancient texts be telling us. And we'll just tuck right in here and make do with what we've got. Make you see what's do. going on, right? Wait, wait, wait. Yo, a lot of people don't understand that Buzz Lightyear is supposed to be Buzz Aldrin, you feel me? 
one of the first to be on the moon, right? But y'all remember this? What was they trying to tell us? That he never flew. They never went. They watched you guys land on the moon. No, which was, no, I didn't. What? Because uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation. Read between so the lines. you associated what you saw with... I have very hazy memories. I I'm telling well, you. Well, no, what we saw was we all, we all were gathered around the old Kirkton radio and listened. talking about... You know, how many feet oh, he opened up the conversation like that, you feel me? Mm -hmm. You know, he tried to ease that joint in there, try to make it seem like he ain't saved like that, you feel me? I'm telling y'all that we live in this joint, yo, and there's something underneath, yo. We We all know how they be putting the... We all know that, like, they ain't built to no more, man. Cut it off. Sabrina Carpenter has experienced one of the fastest rises to fame we have seen in recent years. This left a lot of people questioning, how did this happen? So I did some digging and this is what I found. Her career actually started with Disney. She landed a major role in 2014 on Girl Meets World. This gave her a fan base, but it was really only the beginning of her rise to fame. She transitioned into the music industry and had massive success, but she did a couple things that raised some controversy. Filming a music video in a church, and if you've seen the music video, you know what I'm talking about. And her response? We got permission from the church, and remember, Jesus was a carpenter. She recently made the headlines again as she kissed an alien on the VMAs during her performance. And did you know her aunt is the famous voice of Bart Simpson, Nancy Cartwright, and she is a long-standing member of the Church of Scientology. She is also listed as a mega donor. There's no evidence that Sabrina shares her aunt's affiliation, but it's just interesting. Sabrina Carpenter has experienced one of the fast- Tonight, September 17th, 2024, is the September supermoon. This is the night where the Earth, Sun, and Moon align to create three celestial events, a harvest moon, a supermoon, and a lunar eclipse as the full moon rises. Under the alignment of energy and the magnetic pull of the September supermoon, our subconscious mind comes more to the surface and becomes easily programmable. And everything we manifest comes from the programs in our subconscious. Tonight, under the light of the supermoon, repeat these words three times. I am in perfect alignment with the energy of abundance. Everything I desire is already mine, flowing to me with ease and grace. I trust the universe to deliver all that I need in divine timing. Then listen to your favorite affirmations with the Inner Tune app as you drift off to sleep and allow them to sink deep into your subconscious mind. You can access it by clicking our bio link. I remember vividly going to driver's training I remember those days. I also remember driving the fucking car before I went to fucking driver's training because I wasn't a bitch. But it's cool. It's cool. You know, some people grow up different. Hey, not pointing no fingers. But what I'm noticing is um, you niggas just keep making it easier, huh? <laughs> Give me them fucking keys. I remember vividly. No, they just making it easy. That's no, that's crazy. Yeah. Life is so weird. Like everyone is just living in their little in their little boxes, driving around in their little motorized vehicles, going to their jobs, going to worry about things that are so unimportant and things that are so pointless in the grand scheme of things. Right. Like you're at work and you have to worry about about a client you're working at a coffee shop you have to worry if you made this customer's coffee correctly and you're just worrying about all these tiny little minuscule things you're worrying about your bills you're worrying about what people think of you and i just need you to take a step back and just realize that you're here having a human experience just realize that all of this is temporary you're only here for such a short period of time so now is the time to just look at your life and make sure that you're on track to do what you want to do. Don't waste your life working a 9 to 5 and before you know it, you're almost ready to retire and your body is in pain and you wasted the prime years of your life. Take time now to do the things that you love. I know it's hard when you, you might work all day and then on the weekends you just want to relax, 
Make a point to plan to do things that you love to do. Make a plan. Make a plan for your life so you're not losing hope. You don't have to work a 9 to 5 the rest of your life. That is not your purpose. That is not your mission. We are not here to work. We are here to love. We are here to experience joy and happiness and pain. We're here to be humans. We are here to have a great time. So do the things that you love to do. And if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling down, there's a reason that you're not just, there's not something wrong with you. There's a reason you're feeling like that. And it's probably because you've lost touch with your purpose. You've lost touch with your soul's calling. And you've lost touch with the reason that you're really here. Life is so weird. You were though. One day we will be free from this prison. This is all it is. Have you heard of this? TikTok users have recently noticed something odd about Burger King's chicken sandwich patty. In viral videos, tearing it apart reveals bubbling and an unusual white color. That is not a chicken sandwich. Did you know this about Subway? As you may have heard, Subway bread isn't even classified as bread in some places due to its ingredients. Now, TikTok users are claiming it won't even get wet when dunked in water, fueling speculation yeah. about what's really in it. This is oh, not normal. Sense. We found a weird abandoned camera in our local park. What's even scarier is what we found on its SD card. Have you heard of this? Look like they cracking down on the diddler, man. No diddy. So he got arrested in Manhattan. I knew it was over with when he was taking videos back where he was from and niggas like, yeah, I'll do anything, he touching him, I'll do anything. I knew it was over with. He in public walking around like it's sweet, bro. Your time is up, fam. Your time is up in the industry, bro. The thing about it is when you sign a blood contract, it's gonna have that expiration date. But the thing about it is it's only so many sacrifices you can give, it's only so much you can give up, right? And so that money don't that money can't save you, bro. That's the thing about it, bro. You accumulate all this riches and wealth and you fought for this position just to get it took away from you at the snap of it like it's monopoly, bro. Are they laughing? Ha ha ha. Chess board off the piece, get them out the game. We use them for all the destruction. Now your life ruined too. Two for one. Look like they cracking That's down cool. on the diddler, man. Two no for one, man. They definitely had two for one, man. Two bags for one dollar. Damn. Fuck wrong with him! The judge said no diddy! Whoa! That is crazy! The dude named Diddy will remain in jail until trial. Yo, the, the jail cells have to be going crazy. They're yelling, Diddy! 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 All night long! I know they are! But at the same time, there's a whole nother side of the prison yelling, No Diddy! No Diddy! No Diddy! No Diddy! No Diddy! And it's like, damn! What the fuck, bro? He's a billionaire! He's getting treated like Jeffrey Epstein! God damn! They said- All of a sudden we heard shots being fired in the air, and I guess probably four or five, and it sounded like bullets, but what do I know about that? But Secret Service knew immediately it was yeah. bullets, and uh, they grabbed me, and uh, everybody just, we got into the carts, and we moved along pretty, pretty good. Uh, I was with an agent, and the agent did a fantastic job. There was no question that we were off that course. I would have loved to have sank that last putt, <laughs> but uh, we decided, well, let's get out of here. All of a sudden we heard shots being fired in the air, and I guess probably four or five, and it sounded like bullets, but what do I know about that? But secret. This morning, for the second time in just two months, the I'm FBI is investigating an apparent attempted assassination on Donald Trump's life. ABC News learning the former president was on his West Palm Beach golf course with donor Steve Whitcoff near the fifth hole. 
when a Secret Service agent suddenly saw a barrel of a rifle sticking out of the fence just 300 to 400 yards away. What they do is they have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president was at. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel sticking out of the fence and immediately engage that individual at which time the individual took off. Sources say Secret Service fired four to six rounds as Trump was rushed to a safe area. The suspected gunman went running, leaving behind an AK-47 style rifle, two backpacks which contain ceramic tile, and a GoPro hanging on the fence. An eyewitness catching the suspect fleeing. Fortunately, we were able to locate a witness that came to us and said, hey, I saw the guy running out of the bushes. He jumped into a black Nissan and I took a picture of the vehicle and the tag, which was great. With that information, police were able to track down the car. This is the moment authorities surrounded the suspect in the vehicle. We knew we had the car, everything lined up. We surrounded the car, didn't give him a chance to flee. He had no alternative but to surrender. Multiple law enforcement sources tell ABC News the man detained by police is 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Roth. Overnight, law enforcement descending on his home in Greensboro, North Carolina, going through the residence floor by floor, searching by a flashlight. Sources also say he had ties to Hawaii, his neighbor there speaking with ABC News. I kind of like a shock that uh, all of this is happening. While authorities are working to determine a motive, sources familiar with the investigation say they are looking into whether Roth had any frustrations with Trump's position on Ukraine. He frequently posted on social media about the war, seen here in a 2022 video in Poland around the time he went to Ukraine. And then we're going to stay as long as it takes to get every Russian out of, out of, out of Ukraine. Trump traveled back to his Mar-a-Lago estate in a social media post thanking law enforcement for keeping him safe, saying the job done was absolutely outstanding. His son Eric Trump telling Fox News, my father is running out of lives. It was just 65 days ago that Trump survived an attempted assassination at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The former president was grazed by a bullet in the ear, ducking for cover behind the podium. And this morning, there are questions once again about how a gunman could get this close to a former president and Republican nominee. He's not the sitting president. If he was, we would have had this higher golf course around it. But because he's not, the security is limited to the areas that the Secret Service deems possible. This morning, for the second time in just two months, there's been another oh, assassination sorry, 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 sorry. attempt on Donald Trump just within the past couple of hours. First, Donald Trump is safe. He has not been shot. We do know that the Secret Service started shooting at a suspect who had a gun on Trump's golf course while Trump was golfing. Police say that the suspect did aim a high-powered rifle at Trump, which is what caused Secret Service to shoot. We don't know if any shots were fired by the bad guy. Police say they collected an AK-style rifle with a scope from the scene along with the GoPro, which he was going to use to take pictures. We're also learning that police stopped a car nearby after the shooting. We know that one suspect is being questioned by police. Witnesses heard the shots on Trump's golf course where he was playing just before 2 p.m. Eastern time. Trump was between the fifth and sixth hole of the course when the shooting happened. Trump's campaign says this will not affect Trump's schedule next week. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have both been briefed on the incident. There's been another assassination attempt. So Kamala Harris just had a rally in Wilkes Barn, Pennsylvania, and things did not seem right at this rally, you guys. You know how we've been saying that things are not what they seem and everything is fake and artificial? Well, take, take a look at this. Look at this. Now, I want you to watch this phone over here. How come we cannot see Kamala Harris in this phone? You can clearly see it's an iPhone and you can see the people, but we cannot see Kamala Harris why is that right 
And then they're going to segue into another phone, right? Check this out. Look. Look at that. How, where are the people behind her? Where's the sign? Where are the people that's behind her? Where's the sign? Let me show you. You can clearly see that there are people behind her and there is people holding a sign behind her, right? But not on the phone. What is going on? Right here, you cannot see her or the people. And then these phones, you cannot see her. And then this one, you cannot see nobody behind her or the sign. Where did they go? Huh? I showed you guys this before. Back when Donald Trump and Joe Biden were having their debate. It showed it, it says exclusive simulcast on. Like casting a simulation. They're literally telling us right in our faces. And then for us to see really nobody at Kamala Harris's rally, y'all. It's not far-fetched and it's not unbelievable. We know the lies and the trickery that these people are here to bring amongst us. Unless you see it with your two physical eyes, then everything is an illusion. Yes, yeah, you can even trust your two physical eyes anymore, honestly. So what do you guys think about this video? This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace in. So Kamala Harris just... I hate evolution with a passion. It makes the greats look washed. This is Tony Hawk in 1999 hitting the first ever 900. He worked on perfecting it for 10 years. In this specific competition, he failed at it multiple times before he finally landed it. And when he did, everybody celebrated like he just won the Super Bowl. And here we are present day when a nine year old hit that very same trick three times in a row. Going three 900s right now. One. It's like, yeah, here's my best trick. Two. He's at 1800. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Ah! Here we go. <laughs> this kid isn't even in fourth grade yet, and he did that shit with ease, bro. Bro, we're really Ooh, about bro. to be done with the greatest skater of all time. We're about to be done with the 2000s, fam. This shit is crazy. By the way, hey, thank you. It's like that. It's a step back in time as to land State Park in Jefferson County, roughly between Johnson Creek and Lake Mills. The location is a national historic landmark and contains one of Wisconsin's most important archaeological sites, featuring a village in existence between AD 1000 and 1300. Archaeologist and author Bob Birmingham is my personal guide on this trip. The, the area is preserved. You know, we still have woods and grasslands and so on. As you can see today, it's quiet. So if you want a, a delightful afternoon of, of um, reflecting on ancient history, this is a great place to do it. For a long time, the belief was this was an Aztecan society from Central America, hence the name Aztelan. But then it was determined the settlers originated from a place not so far away. It takes you back a thousand years uh, uh, to um, an era uh, that is really less known. So the first city in what is now the United States was not St. Augustine or Boston or Philadelphia. It was established a thousand years before that. And the city of Cahokia had tens of thousands of people and they built huge earthen monuments and they started a civilization, a society that expanded. And one place that it expanded to was southern Wisconsin when they built this town. Birmingham tells me these indigenous people who eventually settled here built large flat top pyramidal mounds. Three of them remain on this 19 acre site. The mounds were built to support 
important people and an important build, building, and to take these buildings and the people up to the principal deity, the sun, because they were the sun people. It's like that. It's a step you back in no. time. Let me see now. So Blackstone, which is the mother of BlackRock, acquires Ancestry.com for $4.7 billion. This gives them the total ownership of all the DNA of every person that has ever used this service. Now, I've been saying this for years. If you be sending in your DNA to any of these services, you are incredibly stupid. Remember that big scam that was going on for those couple of years and they were doing the nasal swabs. They wouldn't let you leave the airport without giving your DNA, essentially, and sending it in. Now, I find it really interesting that after all this was going on, they are trying to collect and analyze our DNA. I'm just thankful that I wasn't stupid enough to fall for this trap because I can see clearly and use critical thinking, which most people lack nowadays. But yeah, this is very, very interesting. So let me know what you guys think. Oh, listen, that's how you gonna get smacked with that sixth season approaching because you're not taking care of yourself. You need to start detoxing your lungs, start taking the right minerals so you ain't mineral deficient, then in your immune system so you have a good defense system, <laughs> or you gonna get slapped just like that. Nigga, stop fucking playing. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Don't wait before it's too late. He is right, because that that stuff, that, that snick sickness be coming out of nowhere. You like, dang. You trying to figure out what made you sick? All of that stuff. Stuff who you been eating. P. Diddy just got arrested, and this is crazy. So apparently, the feds raided his home and found a thousand bottles of baby oil. <laughs> baby oil! Not even that, but they went through his phone and then proceeded to find multiple videos of freak offs going on. Freak offs with A list celebrities of all people, and apparently, Meek Mill's involved in this. His security guard just came out with a video exposing it. Now I'm looking at all the pictures of the celebrities that were with P. Diddy, and I'm like, which one of y'all were involved, if not all of y'all? Because what? 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 P. Diddy just got arrested, and this is crazy. You will never get rich thinking like this. You need to shift your mindset to providing as much value to people. And by providing the best value to people through your products, service, or whatever it is, money comes as a side effect of that. You see, when you focus on rich, you will never ever get rich. It's not about becoming rich. It's about helping people's lives as much as possible. The reality that you desire is not the reality you truly want. You just want to escape the emotional and internal state that your reality is making you feel now. Therefore, if you sh use your mind, your mind can be anywhere, any place, anything, at any time. That's the power of the mind. You can become this reality, this internal state, before you have the external reality. And this is how you truly bring things to you. The reality that you want already exists as a state of thought and emotion. By feeling that, you are becoming that vibration. That's why we call it a mindset. You set your mind to frequencies. And once you do that, you become the mind, you become the thought, you become the emotion. Then slowly over time, it becomes your action. And then your action becomes your external circle. California, what is going on here? Have y'all seen this? What is this about, y'all? When we tell you it is close, y'all, it is close because they're not making these movies without sending y'all a message. Now, this is somewhere in Southern California. I don't specifically know what part, but this is crazy, y'all. All the warnings we've been getting lately about California and then the guy coming over from Atlanta to California warning y'all about this right here. I mean, just take a look at it. This thing is cracked all the way over there, right? And then you look this way and it's all the way over here. Look at that, y'all. And it's got water lines running parallel to it. So obviously this is where they used to plant things and I don't know what it's going to be used for now because this is not good y'all And it looks like there's a man over there videotaping from the news media Letting y'all know what's going on here funny. I haven't heard this I haven't heard anything about that huge crack that's in that specific area y'all have y'all and as of late a lot of things that has been happening around the world the news media has been kind of avoiding it maybe they want us to be safe I have no idea what their intentions are but let me know what you guys think about this video does anybody know where that's at specifically in California please let us know down in the comments below this video is strictly for entertainment 
This video just exposed on how easily the mind is manipulated. Yeah, y'all pay attention and take notes. I'm going now y'all pay attention. Of people chanting, that is embarrassing. Four times. After the fourth time, write down what you hear. Write down what you hear. Interesting. Almost everyone here heard that is embarrassing. Right. Listen again and watch the screen. Watch the screen. You heard the same thing every single time. Our eyes and ears take in electrical signals which our brains interpret based on our expectations. Gang, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That just blew my mind on how easily our mind could be manipulated. If you want more secrets on how to break your mind out of this matrix, comment down below matrix and I'm gonna send a guide in your DM. That's crazy. P. Diddy just offered to pay $50 million for him to get out of jail. The proposed package from P. Diddy and his attorneys go as follows. Number one, $50 million bond. A co-signed by Sean Combs, his mother, his sister, the mother of his oldest daughter, and his three adult sons. One of his homes has an appraised value of $48 million. The home is not occupied. In anticipation of his bail hearing on August 20th, Mr. Combs paid off the remaining mortgage of $18 million so that the home could be secured in a bond of free of a mortgage. He's also using the equity in his mother's home in Miami. And his travel will be restricted to the Southern District of Florida, the Southern District of New York to attend court, meet with this council, attend medical appointments, which we will address to the court in a separate sealed submission. So something's going on with his medical history. P. Diddy also already surrendered his passport so that way he cannot leave the country. And he has had his family members also already give up their passports. Janice Combs, Chance Combs, Jesse Combs, Delilah Combs, and Love Combs. I don't really know who all those people are, but it's probably his sons, the mother of his oldest daughter, and his mother. They have all already That's surrendered tough. their passports, so they cannot leave the country either. And the feds have already said they do not want Diddy to be allowed out on bail because they believe he is a flight risk and also a danger to society. P. Diddy just <laughs> offered to pay $50 million. <laughs> It dangerous to society. Wow. No, they doing bogus. Whenever you drink drinks that have zero on them, Coke Zero, Pepsi Zero, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, they say zero and they say zero sugars because this is a synthetic sugar. So it's not a sugar that has to be listed because it's not a real sugar. Okay, so it'll say zero calories and it'll say zero sugar, but guess what? It still tastes sweet. It still tastes sweet because it's an unnatural sugar. And guess what? These artificial sweeteners like aspartame, they increase the risk for multiple sclerosis. They increase the risk for diabetes, Alzheimer's and even migraines and what you'll notice with the food additive monosodium glutamate that I was just talking about MSG it will cause you literally to see spots so if you start seeing spots you probably ate some with MSG whenever you drink drinks that could you actually slice a bullet in half with a samurai sword well bullets travel at speeds exceeding 1,000 feet per second creating an immense force. And a samurai sword with a razor sharp edge is capable of cutting through tough materials like a bullet. In theory, if it were perfectly positioned and timed in a controlled environment, you could pull this off. However, the bullet's speed and size makes this nearly impossible. Could you actually slice a bullet in half with a the water started to recede rapidly, exposing the ocean floor. People were confused and started to notice the wave coming closer to the shore. This was a massive tsunami triggered by an undersea earthquake. As the wave approached, it grew in height, reaching up to 100 feet in some places. It slammed into the area with unimaginable force, obliterating everything in its path. The wave swept entire neighborhoods away, leaving nothing behind but rubble. And over 167,000 people lost their lives in this region alone. The water. Where? That's what I'm talking about. How did, how did they survive? That's crazy. 
Hello my healthy friends. Have you seen this video? Oh my goodness. Now she's in Thailand and she's eating street food and this is a live squid. For me, it's a no. It's not something that I would actually try. But let me know your thoughts about this. If you went to Thailand, would you try this? If you're enjoying our videos and you want to see more just like this one, I don't know who needs to hear this. This not this not really Diddy, is it really? That's really Diddy, bro. Ryan. Oh, uh, this is not touching me. Oh. What are you talking about? Stop touching me. Hey, what's up? What That's crazy. Where's Carisha? Where's Carisha in there?